We do expect to see some body camera video today. Police shot a man they said was accused of stabbing a woman several times. Yeah, it happened in the Miami Township neighborhood yesterday afternoon. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons joins us live now with the details. Valerie, police say they had no choice but to shoot the suspect. Yeah, Kristen, the Miami Township Police Chief told us when officers caught up with the man, he was holding a butcher knife. Now, they tried to get him to drop it, but despite multiple commands, we're told he raised that knife over his head and started running at those officers. Now, this all happened around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon when officers were called to Valencia Drive for a stabbing. They found a woman stabbed multiple times inside a home. Police found the suspect, Joshua Ambergy, who we've learned is the victim's relative, hiding in someone's back backyard about 100 yards down the street. After Ambergy rushed at officers with a knife, one officer fired his gun, another fired his taser. Now that taser missed, but one of the bullets hit Ambergy and officers were able to get the knife in his hand, plus another in his pocket and handcuff him. When he came at us with the knife and I say us because he's coming at all of us. When he comes at us with the knife, he gives us no choice, zero choice. For anyone who sits at home and says, well, why didn't they shoot that out of his hand? I could probably bring you an Olympic marksman and he could probably shoot that out of their hand until his life is in danger. Once his life is in danger and somebody's trying to kill him, he won't be able to do it. Now, the chief says Ambergy was no stranger to his department. He had a record prior to this incident, known to have previously assaulted officers from different agencies in the past. Ambergy and the stabbing victim were both taken to the hospital in serious condition. Now, this is the second officer involved shooting in Miami Township in the past seven months. A woman was actually shot and killed by police at an apartment complex back in May when she fired her gun at officers. Now, no officers in yesterday's shooting were injured, and as Adrian said earlier, we are expecting body cam video to be released sometime later today. Once we get that, we'll be sure to share that with you both on air and online at WCPO.com. For now, reporting live this morning in Miami Township, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News. Thank